Published 2018 Eastern Standard Time, the 9th of February 2019. Updated 2020 Eastern Standard Time, the 9th of February 2019. Atletico Madrid fans made their feelings clear over Thibaut Courtois move to rivals Real Madrid as they defaced the goalkeeper's commemorative plaque outside the Juan de Metropolitano. The 26-year-old returned to the club where he spent three years on loan on Saturday afternoon as Real beat Atletico 3-1 in a heated derby that saw nine yellows and one red card dished out. And while Santiago Solari's men sealed all three points over their local rivals to move above them into second place, Courtois had hundreds of toy rats thrown at him during the game at the Juan de Metropolitano. Thibaut Courtois helped Real Madrid to a 3-1 win over rivals Atletico Madrid on Saturday Atletico supporters defaced Courtois' commemorative plaque before the Madrid Derby toy rats were thrown at the 26-year-old during the 3-1 win over Atletico on Saturday earlier this week. Courtois' plaque outside of the stadium was defaced by Atletico fans before it was restored before the game. However, that didn't stop supporters from vandalizing it again before kickoff as they covered it with a big red X before placing fake toy rats on top of it. The former Chelsea number 1 received the plaque for making over 100 appearances for Diego Simeone's side between 2011 and 2014, however, his successful loan spell at the club has since turned sour following his £35 million move to rivals Real. Madrid last summer, the sidelines were littered with the fake rats as Atletico fans made their feelings clear that Atletico fans threw the cuddly toys at the Belgium International before loudly booing his every touch on Saturday afternoon. Speaking about the abuse he's received from his former club's fans, Courtois insisted, I don't mind. If that makes them happy, then good for them, if they want to throw things at my head, it won't affect me. It's more motivation, goals from Casemiro, Sergio Ramos and Gareth Bale sealed all three points for Los Blancos which saw them close the gap to La Liga leaders Barcelona, who play on Sunday evening.